The Shocking Truth About Cannibalism 10 Facts You Won't Believe Hello and welcome to Science Telly, the channel where we explore the fascinating and sometimes disturbing aspects of science. Today, we are going to talk about one of the most taboo and controversial topics in human history, cannibalism. Cannibalism is the act of eating the flesh or organs of another member of the same species. It has been practiced by humans and animals for various reasons, such as survival, ritual, or even pleasure. But how much do you really know about cannibalism? Here are 10 things you probably never knew about this gruesome phenomenon. Fact 1. Cannibalism is not illegal in most countries. You might think that eating another human being is a crime, but surprisingly, there is no specific law that prohibits cannibalism in most countries. However, this does not mean that cannibals can get away with their actions. They can still be charged with other crimes, such as murder, assault, desecration of corpses, or even health violations. For example, in 2001, a German man named Armin Moos was convicted of manslaughter for killing and eating a voluntary victim he met online. He was later retried and sentenced to life imprisonment for murder. Fact 2. Cannibalism can have serious health risks. Eating human flesh or organs can expose you to various diseases and parasites, such as Kuru, Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, hepatitis, HIV, and prion diseases. These diseases can affect your brain, nervous system, liver, and immune system, and can cause symptoms such as tremors, dementia, seizures, and death. For example, Kuru is a fatal neurological disorder that was prevalent among the four people of Papua New Guinea, who practiced ritual cannibalism of their dead relatives. Kuru is caused by infectious prions, which are misfolded proteins that can damage the brain. The symptoms of Kuru include laughing uncontrollably, loss of coordination, and eventually coma and death. Fact 3. Cannibalism can have psychological effects. Eating another human being can also have psychological consequences, such as guilt, trauma, addiction, or even enjoyment. Some cannibals may suffer from mental disorders, such as schizophrenia, psychosis, or personality disorders, that make them delusional, paranoid, or violent. Others may have cannibalistic fetishes, such as vorophilia, which is the sexual desire to eat or be eaten by another person. Some cannibals may even develop a taste for human flesh and crave it more than any other food. For example, Albert Fish, a notorious serial killer and cannibal, claimed that he enjoyed eating children, especially their buttocks, and that he had had children in every state. Fact 4. Cannibalism has been practiced for various reasons. Cannibalism is not a monolithic phenomenon, but rather a complex and diverse one that has been influenced by different factors, such as culture, religion, environment, and history. Some of the reasons why people have practiced cannibalism include 1. Survival. In times of famine, war, or disaster, some people may resort to cannibalism as a last resort to avoid starvation. For example, during the siege of Leningrad in World War II, some residents of the city ate the corpses of their neighbors or even their own family members to survive the harsh winter. 2. Ritual. Some cultures and religions have practiced cannibalism as a way of honoring, worshiping, or communicating with their ancestors, gods, or spirits. For example, the Aztecs of Mexico believed that eating the flesh and blood of their human sacrifices would appease their gods and ensure the fertility of the land. 3. Medicine. Some people have used human body parts as remedies for various ailments, such as impotence, epilepsy, or infertility. For example, in ancient China, some doctors prescribed human flesh, bones, blood, or organs as ingredients for their medicines. 4. Revenge. Some people have practiced cannibalism as a form of vengeance, punishment, or intimidation against their enemies. For example, the Maori of New Zealand would eat the flesh of their defeated foes to humiliate them and absorb their mana or life force. 5. Pleasure. Some people have practiced cannibalism simply for the sake of curiosity, adventure, or enjoyment. For example, Alexander Pierce, an Irish convict who escaped from a penal colony in Australia, ate several of his fellow escapees and claimed that human flesh was the finest meat he ever tasted. Fact 5. Cannibalism is not exclusive to humans. Cannibalism is not only a human behavior, but also a common and natural one among many animals. Some of the animals that practice cannibalism include 1. Sharks. Sharks are notorious for eating their own kind, especially when they are hungry, stressed, or competing for territory. 
Some sharks, such as the sand tiger shark, even eat their siblings in the womb before they are born. 2. Spiders. Spiders are known for their cannibalistic mating rituals, where the female often devours the male after copulation. Some spiders, such as the black widow, the redback, and the brown recluse, are also venomous and can kill their prey with a single bite. 3. Lions. Lions are the only social cats that practice cannibalism, usually when they are fighting for dominance, territory, or mates. Male lions often kill and eat the cubs of their rivals to eliminate their competition and ensure their own genetic legacy. 4. Bears. Bears are omnivorous animals that can eat both plants and animals, including their own species. Bears may resort to cannibalism when they are hungry, stressed, or diseased. For example, polar bears may eat their cubs or other polar bears when their food sources are scarce due to climate change. 5. Ants. Ants are social insects that live in colonies with thousands or millions of members. Ants may practice cannibalism when they are overcrowded, infected, or under attack. For example, fire ants may eat their own larvae or pupae when they are stressed or threatened. Fact 6. Cannibalism has inspired many works of art and literature. Cannibalism is a topic that has fascinated and horrified many artists and writers who have used it as a source of inspiration, symbolism, or satire for their works. Some of the famous works of art and literature that feature cannibalism include 1. The Silence of the Lambs, a novel by Thomas Harris and a film adaptation by Jonathan Demme, starring Anthony Hopkins and Jodie Foster. The story follows the FBI agent Clarice Starling, who seeks the help of the imprisoned cannibalistic serial killer Hannibal Lecter to catch another serial killer known as Buffalo Bill. 2. The Raft of the Medusa, a painting by Théodore Jericho, depicting the aftermath of the shipwreck of the French frigate Meduse in 1816. The painting shows the survivors of the disaster, who resorted to cannibalism to stay alive, on a makeshift raft in the middle of the ocean. 3. Titus Andronicus, a play by William Shakespeare, based on the Roman legend of the general Titus Andronicus, who avenges the rape and mutilation of his daughter Lavinia by the sons of the enemy queen Tamora. The play culminates in a gruesome banquet, where Titus serves Tamora the pies made of her own son's flesh. 4. Sweeney Todd. The Demon Barber of Fleet Street. A musical by Stephen Sondheim and Hugh Wheeler, based on the Victorian penny dreadful serial The String of Pearls. The story follows the barber Sweeney Todd, who kills his customers with a razor and disposes of their bodies by giving them to his partner Mrs. Lovett, who bakes them into meat pies. 5. Alive. A book by Piers Paul Reed and a film adaptation by Frank Marshall, based on the true story of the Uruguayan rugby team that survived a plane crash in the Andes in 1972. The book and the film depict the ordeal of the survivors, who had to eat the flesh of their dead companions to survive for 72 days in the mountains. Fact 7. Cannibalism has been a subject of scientific research and debate. Cannibalism is not only a cultural and historical phenomenon, but also a scientific and ethical one that has raised many questions and controversies. Some of the scientific research and debate on cannibalism include 1. The cannibalism paradigm, a theory proposed by the anthropologist Marvin Harris, who argued that cannibalism was a rational and adaptive response to environmental and demographic pressures, such as protein scarcity, population control, or disease prevention. Harris used the examples of the Aztecs, the Four, and the Caribs to support his theory, which was criticized by other scholars for being reductionist, ethnocentric, and inaccurate. 2. The Neanderthal Cannibalism Hypothesis A hypothesis suggested by some paleoanthropologists, who claimed that cannibalism was a common and widespread practice among the Neanderthals, the extinct relatives of modern humans. They based their hypothesis on the evidence of cut marks, fractures, and burn marks on the bones of some Neanderthal fossils, which indicated that they were butchered and cooked by their own kind. However, this hypothesis was challenged by other researchers, who argued that the evidence was inconclusive, ambiguous, or biased, and that cannibalism was rare and sporadic among the Neanderthals. The Human Placenta Consumption Controversy a controversy that emerged in recent years, regarding the practice of some women who choose to eat their own placentas after giving birth. The placenta is the organ that connects the mother and the fetus, and provides nutrients and oxygen to the baby. Some women believe that eating the placenta can have health benefits, such as preventing postpartum depression, enhancing lactation, or restoring hormonal balance. However, 
There is no scientific evidence to support these claims, and some experts warn that placenta consumption can pose health risks, such as infection, allergic reaction, or exposure to toxins. Fact 8. Cannibalism has different names and classifications. Cannibalism is a broad term that encompasses different types and forms of eating one's own species. Some of the names and classifications of cannibalism include 1. Endocannibalism the practice of eating the flesh of members of one's own group, such as family, friends, or tribe. Endocannibalism is usually done for ritual or emotional reasons, such as mourning, honoring, or assimilating the dead. 2. Exocannibalism. The practice of eating the flesh of members of other groups, such as enemies, strangers, or animals. Exocannibalism is usually done for pragmatic or aggressive reasons, such as survival, revenge, or domination. 3. Autocannibalism. The practice of eating one's own flesh or body parts, such as nails, hair, or skin. Autocannibalism can be done for various reasons, such as self-mutilation, mental illness, or religious devotion. 4. Sexual cannibalism. The practice of eating one's sexual partner or mate, usually during or after copulation. Sexual cannibalism can be done for reproductive or predatory reasons, such as ensuring fertilization, eliminating competition, or obtaining nutrients. 5. Necrocannibalism. The practice of eating the flesh of dead or decaying bodies, such as corpses, zombies, or vampires. 5. Necrocannibalism can be done for supernatural or horror reasons, such as reanimating, infecting, or terrifying the living. Fact 9. Cannibalism has different nutritional and caloric values. Eating human flesh or organs can provide different amounts of nutrients and calories, depending on the type, quantity, and quality of the meat. Some of the nutritional and caloric values of cannibalism include 1. Protein. Human flesh is a good source of protein, which is essential for building and repairing muscles, bones, and tissues. According to a study by James Cole, a human body can provide about 81,500 calories of protein, which is equivalent to about 40 days of an average adult's daily requirement. 2. Fat. Human fat is a rich source of energy, which is vital for maintaining body temperature, cushioning organs, and storing vitamins. According to the same study, a human body can provide about 36,000 calories of fat, which is equivalent to about 18 days of an average adult's daily requirement. 3. Vitamins and Minerals Human organs are a good source of vitamins and minerals, which are important for regulating metabolism, immunity, and blood pressure. For example, the liver is high in iron, vitamin A, and vitamin B12. The heart is high in potassium, magnesium, and phosphorus, and the brain is high in iodine, zinc, and copper. 4. Prions Human brain and spinal cord are also a source of prions, which are not nutrients, but infectious agents that can cause fatal diseases. Prions are resistant to cooking, freezing, or sterilizing, and can accumulate in the brain and nervous system, causing irreversible damage. Prions are responsible for diseases such as Kuru, Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, and mad cow disease. Fact 10. Cannibalism has different ethical and moral implications. Eating human flesh or organs can raise different ethical and moral issues, depending on the context, motive, and consent of the act. Some of the ethical and moral implications of cannibalism include 1. Human dignity. Cannibalism can be seen as a violation of human dignity, which is the inherent worth and respect that every human being deserves. Eating another human being can be considered as degrading, dehumanizing, or desecrating them, and denying their individuality, identity, and rights. 2. Human rights. Cannibalism can be seen as a violation of human rights, which are the universal and inalienable freedoms and entitlements that every human being has. Killing, harming, or exploiting another human being for food can be considered as infringing their right to life, liberty, and security. 3. Human Value Cannibalism can be seen as a violation of human value, which is the intrinsic and subjective worth that every human being has. Eating another human being can be considered as reducing them to a mere object, commodity, or resource, and ignoring their personality, emotions, and relationships. 4. Human Choice Cannibalism can be seen as a violation of human choice, which is the personal and autonomous decision that every human being has. Eating another human being without their consent or against their will can be considered as coercing, 
manipulating, or violating them, and disregarding their preferences, beliefs, and interests. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing science videos. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified of our latest uploads. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching Science Telly, and we'll see you next time. Bye!